Hey everyone, Tony here for the Civ Sim Chat. Welcome back to another exciting Sid Meier Civilization 5. This time we'll be playing as uh, China. Uh, we've changed uh, the uh, name of uh, China, which is uh, Wu Zhu, I believe. Yeah, Wu Zintain. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I've renamed it uh, to Sun Zhu, which is a, uh, who was a uh, famous Chinese uh, general who wrote a book known as The Art of War, which is um, actually China's, in this game, uh, China's unique ability, which is The Art of War, which uh, basically gives them a great general combat bonus increased by 15%, and their spawn rate is increased by 50%, which is really good. So if you're going to be a domination type game uh, with uh, China, it's very good. The unique new uh, unit is the Chukko Nu, uh, and their unique building is the uh, paper maker, which replaces the library. I believe the Chukko Nu replaces uh, the uh, crossbowman, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, well, tell me in a minute once I load up the game. Uh, but yes, we're going to rename it after Sun Tzu because it's easier uh, for me to pronounce. So we won't be really seeing the lady icon, so the Civs probably won't even know it's a lady or not. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so yes, we're going to play as Sun Tzu. Now, there is some historical debate on whether Sun Tzu actually exists, if he was multiple people or if it was someone else, right? But for all intents and purposes, we're just going to go uh, uh, with the canon to say Sun Tzu exists. And so we're going to be playing as Sun Tzu of China for the Art of War. Actually, Wu Zin, but you get the idea. Uh, let's see. I was uh, trying out um, earlier one of the uh, new maps from the Scrambled Continents, but uh, because I got it because it was only like a few dollars because of the uh, sales that were going in. But eh, uh, probably Scrambled Nations would have probably been better. Um, like this map, it was very small. So I'm not going to be doing... Uh, the uh, scrambled continents. Uh, but what I will do is, let's see here. Um, tell you what, I will do fractal, which is a highly random map that will often form ten snaky continents. So that should be interesting. And the play as, uh, we'll play as a large. Well, okay, we'll do huge because I like having large maps to uh, expand and everything. Uh, we'll play at div uh, emperor difficulty level. And uh, we're going to the advanced setup here. So again, Fractal, huge. I uh, will be playing as Emperor. Um, standard uh, game pace. Uh, we will be starting in the Ancient Era. We will leave all victory types open. Uh, let's see, Raging Barbarians, we will remain on. Um, because, uh, well, you'll see once I get in game why I'm going to leave Raging Barbarians on. It's a little, uh, strategy tip for that, for having Raging Barbarians, and why they're actually kind of good. Because normally in most of my Civ games, I actually turn Barbarians off completely. But, uh, I found that there's actually something, uh, that, uh, Barbarians can actually do that's very good, which is actually farming them for culture. If you get, uh, rank one of honor, uh, you can actually, uh, gain culture for killing Barbarians. And that's why I'm going to have Raging Barbarians, because it's... Helps increase culture policies. Um, let's see. We'll have crit combat and crit, move, uh, crit movement. Just because as the game goes in later. Uh, it'll probably start to get kind of annoying. Um, you know with all the troops moving. So I'll just do that. It, it just makes things a little bit easier. Um, maybe in a smaller game I might uh, do uh, less of that. But let's see. Uh, we are going to play. I, I don't always pick the Sis. But in this case I'll pick it. We'll have the Huns. Uh, basically, all of the Asian ships, I want to make sure we have all of China's neighbors. So, uh, we're going to have Attila the Huns, Askia. Well, actually, I think Askia is in Africa. Yes, I think he is in Africa. Oh, well, one uh, African ship won't matter. Uh, we'll have Gandhi of Indonesia, uh, not Gadamada of Indonesia. We have Genghis Khan of Mongolia, which is uh, to the north of China. Uh, Catherine of Russia, also to the north of China. Polynesia, which is uh, the Hawaiian Islands. Obviously, we need to have Japan, uh, Korea, which is uh, China's neighbor. These two are China's neighbors. Siam as well. Uh, Rakham Anning. I can't pronounce that. Yeah, probably if I ever play as him, I'll probably change the name as well. Just so I can get uh, people I can pronounce. So, uh, and I think, let's see, it's going to give me 12 powers. So, we'll just leave them as random. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, should I keep asking you? Mm -hmm. Rome, Celts, Poland, Russia, Persia. Do I have India? 
No, I do not have India. All right. Well, I know why I'm, why, who I'm replacing then. Gandhi. I keep confusing Gautamana with uh, India. Well, Indonesia, India. Okay. Have uh, for the yeah, Indy, India. Oh, you get the idea. All right. So enough rambling and bambling. We're actually going to start this again. Let me just make sure I've got everything. Yep. City states. We're going to have city states. Uh, let's go to 30. Why not? Because we are playing on a huge map, which is the largest map. Uh, 12 players. So we'll go with the regular city states. Uh, we won't have a max number of turns. Uh, we won't do random personalities. Uh, basically, random personalities just like, um, let's see here, like uh, Genghis and Attila tend to be warmongers with their regular personalities. If we put on random personalities, um, who knows, Attila might actually go for a science victory and uh, Sejong um, might go for uh, defense, uh, uh, I mean, might go for uh, warmongering and Oda over here, uh, you know, might go for culture. Uh, and so on and so forth. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop blabbing and we're going to start this game. I probably missed something, right? No random scene. Here we go. Blessings of heaven be upon you, Empress Wu Zutian, most beautiful and haughty ruler of China. Oh, great Empress, whose shadow causes the flowers to blossom and the rivers to flow. You are the leader of the Chinese the oldest and the greatest civilization that humanity has ever produced. China's history stretches back into the mists of time, its people achieving many great things long before the other upstart civilizations were even conceived. China's contributions to the arts and sciences are too many and too wondrous to do justice to. The printing press, gunpowder, the works of Confucius, these are but a few of the gifts China has given to an undeserving world. You, great queen, who with cunning and beauty rose from the position of lowly concubine to that of divine empress, your people call out to you to lead them. Great China is once again beset on all sides by barbarians. Can you defeat all your many foes and return your country to greatness? Can you build a civilization to stand the test of time? Well, that's what we intend to do, Mr. Narrator. I really do like that uh, narrator guy. Um, so yes, we will be playing as uh, uh, Sun Tzu, not Wu Zintain, uh, which is, I believe, the correct pronunciation. It might not be correct, but you know what to do in the comment section uh, below. Uh, again, Raging Barbarians, so I really like how he says we are surrounded by barbarians, which we really will be uh, in this game. Um, so uh, here we go. We're going to start off. So again, our Chuck Ko is uh, cost 120, moves 2, range 2, strain, uh, range strength is 14, their regular strength is 13, and they replace, uh, uh, let's see, only China can build it, and it replaces the crossbowman. The papermaker uh, provides us 2 gold and plus 1 science for every 2 citizens in this city. So it's going to be a great city. And again, we are not playing as Wu Zintain, we are playing as Sun Tzu. All right, let's begin. Uh, we're next to a lake. Um, let's see, we're on plus two food. Stone there. Huh. Now, generally, I prefer to. Hmm, but we're right next to a lake. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, I will move one to the hill just for the production. Um. Yeah, I think that would be good. And then we'll just expand to the lake as we go. So, I'll move you. Okay, we've got some mountains here. Very good for defense. Uh, silver over there. All right, next turn. Again, I like going on the hill because it provides uh, plus two hammers. So, wasting one turn for some extra production wouldn't be bad. Uh, and it puts us a little closer to spices, which is a luxury. So, yeah. Of course, we also have dyes there. So, we're going to be a very happy civilization. Deer, plenty of food, silver over there. This is going to be a very good start. Very good start. Across we're going to be closer to the mountain. Now, granted, had I been able to, I would have probably settled there next to the mountain so we could build some observatories. I'll probably build a, another city on the other end of that mountain. Speaking of which, let's just 
see. All right. I'm going to probably bring him back down. We just want to scout a little with our uh, warrior. All right. Let's start building a monument. And our tech will go right into pottery. Again, um, it's always good if you're starting off. My strategy, at least, is always to go to our uh, writing. Um, with generally a lot of civs, especially China in this case, their unique building is in riding. So we definitely want to go to riding. Uh, and get a free tech. So we'll build a great library, hopefully. And then, um, then we'll probably pop something like uh, masonry or something. And then we'll work our way towards engineering. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to build a great wall, which is of course uh, uh, a Chinese uh, wonder that we really want to build. And let's see here. We obviously want to try and get printing press per, uh, first because obviously China discovered that. Made that. I mean, there are a lot of things that China did. Gunpowder. Again, and of course there's Hamaji Castle. I'm not sure. I think Hamaji Castle is Japanese, though, if I'm not mistaken. But we might want to go uh, rank one of piety just so we can get the uh, Forbidden Palace. So, uh, yeah. We're going to try and uh, see if we can't get some of the Chinese wonders. I tend to go for uh, wonders that uh, civilization had. I might miss one or two. If I do, leave it in the comments section below. Alright, next turn. Again, I should talk while I'm switching turns. So, these turns should go a little by a little bit quicker. Um, let's see, there's some mountains there. I'm going to bring him back here just to scan out these hills. And we're going to reach the uh, lake in just a turn, so that'll be fine. Well, a few turns, actually. Go there. Oh, there's a river starts there. All right. Okay, next turn. Better move my mic a little. There we go. Assessing turn for city-states. They're trying to find places. Usually the city-states sometimes take a little longer to uh, like find a spot. Like they'll do what I do. They like try and find a, a more proper spot to uh, settle. But I do like the extra production. Because that gives me uh, the ability to build buildings and things like that a little bit faster. And population, at the beginning of the game, you don't really want to grow so much because you don't really have workers and things like that to improve it. So I, I really look, uh, prefer to go for the extra culture. Let's just go and scout around the city. Oh, it's got some desert. For some reason, every time I play China, I'm always near uh, desert tiles for some reason. After we build the monument, we will build a scout. I just want to get the uh, culture pumping. Again, uh, the big keys to civilization for that I found to playing is you always want to have... Um, there are a few things that are key, and one of them is production. Uh, production, then science. Um, actually, I would have to say... if I Well, let's rephrase that. Definitely in the early game, gold doesn't really matter. But throughout the course of the game, uh, production gold science culture in that order usually tends to be production is king though because without production you're not going to have the gold the science uh, the culture etc um to do anything but i find that uh, going in that order is kind of important now i, I wouldn't say gold so much sometimes uh, but you want to be positive that's why i said gold first because if you have a negative gold uh, and you run out of gold, then your science will stop. You will stagnate. You won't have any science, and that is very bad because the key to winning civilization in any game, any strategy, is to always have the science boost something. Unless it's about domination, I suppose, you might not need so many techs. But if you fall so behind, then it might get a little harder. And definitely if a few, uh, like there are games where civilizations can really like, uh, whole entire errors, like, there have been games where they might have gotten an error or two ahead of me just because I was starting to become a warmonger. And at that point, they've got, like, you know, uh, giant death robots and you've still got musketmen. So, it, it, the tech is very important because if you're going for uh, domination, 
you want to have a, uh, advanced units. You, you don't want to be the one with uh, the more primitive units. Okay, so we got some water over here. I'm not sure if that's a lake. Hopefully that's not a lake. We will see. Obviously that's a lake. Oasis. Yeah, I'm hoping that this is kind of like the edge of the thing so I can build ships and things like that. We will see. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, we should have enough to put a city over here. Which is another reason why I didn't want to build there. I do want to make sure I get the water. So let's just continue scouting. Oh, finally got some runes. Again, runes. Uh, some call these uh, goody huts, and that's because they give you uh, things like maps, uh, free tech, hopefully a free tech. In the early game, you want to go for free tech, hopefully, and things like that. Okay, one turn until we've got our uh, monument. Then we'll bring this guy after he discovers that up. Back to the city and we'll get working on a, a scout. Who can uh, scout the area a little bit faster. Up, oh, population. Yeah, that's not too bad. And we did clear some vision here. So, we've got fish there. Marble. Stone. Masonry. So probably on this hill right here, um, yeah, right on this hill probably, I will put my next city. Just so I can get, uh, coal store access. Alright, he's out of moves. We'll do a scout, and you see this works perfectly because now, in four turns I'll discover pottery, and the scout will be done in exactly four turns, and I'm pumping culture, so that's why I do that first because you want to get the social policies which we will get in just a moment or two actually well in the end uh, next policy six turns all right and then uh, it gives us some bonuses to culture and things like that so we'll see what we get there Let's see here Okay, so we've got a little peninsula thing going here. Yeah, right. Actually, mm, yeah, probably right there where that worker is. Uh, I mean, not worker, warrior. Would be a very good city. Got the marble, the fish, the stone, more fish, stone. And the good thing is, is that ships can um, go through here, so... It kind of like bypasses this little thing. I think it ends right there, though. Alright. I'll have you come back up as soon as we get the scout. The scout go this way. Get a very good start. Very, very good start. Now, of course, I'll play, probably pay back the recording of this, and it probably won't get the sound or anything. Uh, that happens. But uh, we will see. Alrighty, Mr. Warrior. Head back. And next turn. I better get a drink here. Excuse me for a second. Not sure if you heard it pop. Again, it's always good when you're recording videos to have uh, water or a drink uh, handy. Just in case your uh, throat gets parts, which happens. So... No shame in uh, taking a little drink, because I'm sure the people rather you do that for a second than to, uh, you know, uh, sound hoarse and stop talking because you can't talk. Of course, I, I suppose at that point it would be good to, uh, you know, stop uh, recording. Alrighty, doing good so well. We've got some extra production, which is very good. Again, if you're always, if you're, you know, one turn to a hill, I'd do it. If I was spawned like way over here by this river, I and uh, let's see, that's one, two. If it takes you more than. Whoop. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it? What makest thou? The Bible, Isha 45, 9. And we've got uh, the granary and the shrine. And Mr. Scout, I'll just make him move for a second. Again, oh, no, river there. But yeah, had I spawned somewhere here, like over here, uh, where there's no real uh, tile, you know hill tiles i wouldn't walk to it but if i'm like a there's a hill right next to me and i can do it within one turn then i will do it all right let's just yeah well clear some of that fog up around here so mr scout goes along his merry way we will start a shrine which will give us some faith 
which is a very good thing because we're not producing any fate and fate gives us the ability to uh, um, you know get extra production things like that depending on and I'll, I'll demonstrate the mechanic when we get to it all right next stop writing for our paper maker and great library uh, and obviously we'll be able to uh, accept embassies and find out where other civs are haven't met any yet which is a good thing at least you know a little bit you know uh, if they're finding you like uh, the first or second turn after you've uh, plopped, that probably means that they're very close to you. That doesn't always necessarily mean that there aren't any civs near you. Sometimes they don't want to go for exploration thing and they just don't move. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, go there. I bring that warrior up here. Oh, if we have an extra turn, we'll probably make another warrior. Okay, we're going to use the classic Art of War strategy. We're just going to have the Barbarians come to us so we can bombard them with the city, attack with the warrior, until we can get more warriors. A classic saying in the Art of War is attack what is weak, not what is strong. Doesn't always sound like, you know, the honorable way to think, but hey, it's how you win. It's And uh, at the end of the day, winning is... Yeah, you got to at least do it honorably. Do, do. But at the end of the day, if you're in a conflict, you will win the... Uh, Conflict and of course he's chasing my scout. So mr. Scout keep going. Nope oh, bar runes. Very good uh, uh Oh, was that what we discovered the runes and it just gave us the barb encampments. I don't like that Yeah, that's what it did. Oh, there's one right there. Well at least we know what that one is Alrighty, so let's see we can't do pit. We can do piety um, a tree goes as a great prophet. All these sites provide plus three culture. Uh, science and temples have to use a time. Um, that increases the uh, border expansion. The sea also grants. I'll tell you what. Um, because I do want to get um shrines going. Well, yeah, why not? We'll adopt piety first. And then we'll go uh, Tradition, then Liberty, then Anna. Well, actually, eh, we'll see how we go. Depends on what we can do. Alright, Mr. Scout, you have no more moves. Alright, and that did cut the time for the Shrine down, so that's good. And that will also allow us to, now that we've got Piety, to uh, later on build the uh, uh, Forbidden Palace. So that's pretty good. We've already got that out of the way. Uh oh, that's not good. Let's see, nine turns into our next policy, which will probably be honor. Just weaken that guy. You just stay there for now. We're probably going to have some good times. We might uh, invest in another building or something else, but that's very good. Uh, having a quicker shrine build time. And that will get us to the fate a little bit quicker. Uh, yeah, we'll just... Oh, and we killed him. Alright. Could have gotten some culture there had I gone on our first, but that's alright. Might as well be pious. Just at the beginning. Uh oh, that little bug there. Ah, uh, that's why. All right. Just a scout. If there, I'll probably automate him soon in a minute or two. Lots of forest and stuff over there. I really do like uh, the scenery in Civilization. It's very good. Very nice. Got lots of uh, marshes over there, which is pretty awesome. Okay, one more turn, then we have the shrine. Alright, you, um... Addo. Okay, just don't run into anything. Generally, Addo, tell me. Now, let's see. Nine turns. How many turns? We've got seven until we get that. We could do another scout, a worker. A warrior would be in six. Tell you what, we'll do the warrior. Because I don't really... 
care for growing. In fact, let's put you in production focus. I don't want you growing. We've got three citizens already. That's pretty good. And we don't want the cities to start starving or anything, so we'll just put it on production focus for now. We will get an extra warrior. Just so that way we can help defend our civilization. Barbarians and also attack barbarians. Okay. Got lots of uh, good tiles over here. Well, at least for food, not necessarily for production. Okay, we've now got the deer. So this is going to be a very good um, alternative. We're going to get another. Well, actually, we do have some hills here. Forest, plain, this hill. Okay, hill. Hill. Grassland. Eh, grassland isn't really that good. For, it's very good for food, though. Yep, oh, another shrine. And it's next to some barbarians, as usual. Uh, I'll automate you, and then I'll just put you in myself. Okay, there we go. And this will help our military. Once we get to writing, I will put a break in. Alright, let's discover something. 80 gold. Alright, that's... Eh, that's alright. Oh, I think we discovered somebody. Ah, it's Pan! Oh, that's alright. I bow to you too, my friend. That's not discovered writing it. Okay. Oh, he's already got archers. All right. Okay, dokey. It's always nice when we discover them and not them discovering us. Oh, and well, never mind. <laughs> Japanese scout. Well, now he knows where we are, so. Mutual embassies would be good, uh, I suppose, at that point. As, you know, now he knows that we're here, so... Whoops, no. Okay, you can go back to auto. You're fine. Probably go there. Oh, Barbarian there. Alright. Next production. Why don't we put some turn into a granary? Just for two turns and then we'll move it off. Once we get to running, I will put a cut in this video. Oh, um, Alright. We'll do the uh, mutual um, embassy soon enough once we get to writing. And they do have a, a bonus with the tech and everything because of the uh, difficulty level. Okay. I got him again, have them come to us. We'll get... Okay, one turn we will probably kill him. So, actually, the next question I will probably do the honor. Just so I can get some uh, culture from barbarians. Then I think I'll go into honor. Hmm. Hard rushing. Hmm. Actually, then again. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. That indeed. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. We're definitely going to want to go mining because we've we want to be able to chop down things. Uh, let's see. Um. Tradition, faster growth. Three culture in the capital, and then we're clo one step closer to autocracy, which is, you know, I will do a tradition, then we'll go autocracy for the wonders, and then 
on Earth just for the culture. So we'll hang in with the culture just a little bit longer. Okay, you can go back and heal. Now let's right away rest the Great Library. Only 24 turns, so that's very good. Again, uh, being on that hill is helping. Okay. Oh, right, I forgot to put a uh, thing. Oh, someone found it a parts on, which increases the cost of fate. Now we need to get 15. So that's like, if no one else gets it, seven turns, maybe. So we will see. And, uh, yeah, if, uh, well, we're not that bad with policies. We've got two, everyone else has three. So, now we're in the middle there. We're kind of average right now. But again, this is early game, so we're good. All right, an archer we can instantly kill. Nah, might as well instant kill. Oh, Dan, oh. Ooh. Okay, gonna probably want to retreat there. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will attack the barbarians, uh, the barbarian archers, when we get back. So until next time, everyone, this is Tony for the Simpson Channel, signing out. Wishing all of you a great day. Catch you guys next time.